Hey girl, my name's Terence and welcome back to Rusted Iron Ranch. Today's video, uh, a little bit of a different one. Um, I'm actually going to round up some sheep and get them into our um, yards at the front of the property. Uh, not my sheep, I've had a mate have some sheep on here for the last probably two months or so. Um, I'll explain what the purpose of having them here is a bit later. Uh, but for now, there they are just there. I doubt whether they're going to stay there. Fingers crossed they do. If they go on the damn paddock, it's really hard to get them out. Gates are in the wrong spot, all the rest of it. Um, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to jump on the ATC. Um, I'm going to go shut our... We've got a bit of a, um, a laneway at the front of the house paddock that you can get um, stock from the side paddocks all the way to the yard without having to go from paddock to paddock to paddock. So I'll close that off. And then I'll try and get in around behind them and push them through that. That's the plan for now. Um, whether or not it goes that way, we'll see. As you can see, they're, they're just there. So it'd be awesome if they stay there. I've had a hell of a time trying to get them out of the paddock. And that's why I actually thought I'd film this, because I thought it'd be hilarious people watching um, and actually seeing how hard it is getting them out of that paddock. Um, but I'm going to change where the gates are just for, um, for future use when we get our own sheep. So with that, start the ATC up and uh, try and get them in. Change of plan. While the ATC warms up, I'm actually going to go um, and just walk down and change the front gates um, just so that stock route is set. Uh, just because they've seen the ATC before. These sheep are really skittish um, and I feel like just even riding through the house yard um, will probably send them to the furthest corner of the property, um, which happens to be the dam paddock and that is really hard to get them out of, like I said. So I'm just going to quickly do this by hand, close off the front gate, close off the little, uh, we'll call it a gate, it's really just uh, panel fencing that you pull over and open up the yard and then we'll go around behind them and hopefully push them in. Be real careful because they, they watch me open that gate. Uh, getting this close is sometimes a bit of a feat. We'll go to the other gates. That fence gate is really a terrible system. I just cracked my rain gauge trying to get it to stay so I will be changing that at some point there's plans for a whole different um, front entrance way so I'm sure that'll be an upcoming video or at least I'll update you on it anyway okay let's get ready to get around behind them and hopefully push them into the stock route and then the, the pen
fence. But all I need them to do, they keep going to this corner, all I need them to do is just walk along that fence like they did last time and go through that gap. They get here and try to cut back across behind me to get down there to that dam, which they're not allowed to do. It's impossible to get them out. Okay, so we got him in the pen finally. Uh, only took me seven minutes or so. Um, but they had three tries. They really do not like that front fence. Um, I just had to end up just kind of leaving, leaving them go along the front fence. Um, you can't push them. You can't really even get close to these um, sheep. They're just, they're pretty skittish. Um, and on that last time, the front few saw the opening, they saw the gate and just took the rest of them with them. Um, it seems to be that's how you can uh, Get these guys to go where you want them you can't actually force them uh, because you can't get close enough uh, so last time i got them in here as well i literally just pushed them from about 100 meters away with the atc and um, just went around the outside they found the opening walked their way all the way in here you just have to push them down this last little bit from the paddock so these are corridale ewes um, and the reason my mate had them here was they wanted to join them with two merino rams um, with the purpose being that the lambs that these sheep will have will be their future breeders. Um, obviously, the ewes will be. Um, so, fingers crossed for them, uh, all these ewes are in lamb, and um, they've done their job here. They've uh, eaten all the grass down. They ate what was left of the crop. Um, they knocked down our other paddocks that we didn't do anything with this year. Um, and yeah, it was, just, it was actually really good having them around. It was really good opening up the window uh, in the kitchen in the morning and seeing the sheep just out grazing uh, in the paddocks. So first load's done, um, there's approximately 30 or so left um, and they're going to have to do a couple other um, trips tonight just because they've only got a tandem trailer. So with that we'll probably leave it there. If you like this video be sure to hit the thumbs up button. If you want to see more be sure to subscribe. Once again my name's Terence, this has been Rusted Iron Ranch, thanks for watching.